Hello, friends. Uh, the day before this recording was supposed to be a sort of fall-themed message we're giving. But as I look around me, you might notice that that's changed a little bit. You'll notice uh, a little bit of white on the ground, a little bit of snow falling from the sky. And if you're like me, like I was in college, uh, you might look at something like this and be a little disgusted by what you're seeing, knowing that it's getting quarter, knowing that there might be a little bit of shoveling that has to happen. But if you're like me now, you look at this and you think, awesome, a great excuse to finally put up your Christmas tree. But no matter which way you look at the, the snow finally arriving during the fall, I think there's something about this that is telling beyond the physicality of what we see. That is telling a little bit about who God is and what he's like. In Psalm 148, we read this, Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, you highest heavens, you waters above the skies. Praise the Lord from the earth and the great sea creatures in all ocean depths. Why is creation praising God? We know that there are stars that are millions of light years away that we will never see, that are formed, that will live and explode in grandiose manner. We know that there are creatures in the ocean depths that will never be seen by human eyes, but all of these are praising God. In Psalm 104, we read a little bit in the chapters before, that may the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in His works. There's something beyond human eyes about creation that God himself is rejoicing in. And that's because there's something about creation itself that reflects the beauty of God. Something about creation itself that reflects the wisdom and power of God. And not just that it is a reflection of him, but also that these are created for us to enjoy God as well. In Psalm 119 we read, the heavens are telling of the glory of God. The skies proclaim His handiwork. Who are they reclaiming to? They're reclaiming to us. When we look around at creation, we see God and it invites us into a deeper admiration of who He is. To learn more about God, the beauty of creation is a reminder of Him. And so as we go about our days to work, to school, wherever that is, and sometimes we may get bogged down by the, the coldness and the shivering that happens because of the snow. I invite us to look beyond that a little bit and to see how this reflects the beauty of who God is, His wonderful work in creation, and how we ourselves are His creation and handiwork.